when you think about the power of story, what comes to your mind? I've always seen uh, storytelling as the most effective vehicle for delivering a message. Whatever that message may be to the filmmaker, um, there's something that cat captivates an audience when they identify with a character or a moment or situation or even an environment. Um, I love nature. I love being out in, in the mountains and, and uh, I love, you know, being out in the woods. And so whenever I see a scene like that, it literally draws me in, pulls me in. I'm like, oh, I, I wish I could be there. One of these days, I know you've been there a lot. I'd love to vi visit Montana, right? So I remember the first time I saw the wilderness and the mountains and I thought, okay, I'll put places to go, mm -hmm. right? So something as simple as seeing a mountain view motivated me to want to be there. And storytelling is very similar, whether it be a message or whatever it is. I, I grew up in a household where my mom, my dad were always telling me stories. They, they happened to be biblical stories. And those particular stories, my imagination, I would, I would picture, you know, the environments and the people. Uh, and there was always a message, you know, in there, even though as a kid, I may not have understood all of it, um, but they didn't have a problem explaining those stories. As I grew older, I could hear the story and I could discern my own message from it. And it's so if it's just, I know, I guess it's built in. It's like when I, when I tell a story, I'm sending a message. And you know, if my audience captures the message that I'm trying to send, then I feel like I've, I've accomplished what I set out to do. Sometimes the message isn't always clear or sometimes the message as we talked earlier, isn't always a positive one, but the way to know for sure, if you're effective, is to ask the audience afterwards or ask the viewer, what did you get from it? And I do that a lot. And sometimes people think it's a, it's a little weird. I may ask things that, you know, didn't see, Hey, if he wasn't in that scene or what do you think happened after he left? And they'll go, well, but, but I didn't see him leave. I know. But if he did and he was outside, what do you think would have gone on? And I, I always look for that, the deeper meaning in the story. And so when I, when I approach storytelling, uh, it isn't just, that moment, I want to know what they feel when it's over. What happens when the movie's done? What do you get from that story? Did, did it, was it a lasting impression? Did I do a good job? Was it confusing? Because I wonder if I failed as well, you know, how do I approach this the next time around to, to do a better job? Um, so there's, there's always that, that element. There's, there's a message being sent in, in whatever project I work on and its effectiveness for me is not only whether or not people say, hey, that was pretty good. You know, I've had people say, oh, I loved it. It was awesome. But I want to know what you really feel. You know, let's talk about it. Tell, call me later and I want to know exactly what you thought about my character.